All right, give me that energy. Oh, don't move, don't move, don't move, don't move. That was good. That was good. Today, we're finally gonna be talking about cheap cameras. This is the Hasselblad 555 ELD, and this is the Hasselblad 501CM. On the resale market right now, it's about $4,000 for this guy, and I got this one for $900. Same body, same guts, same mirror, everything, but it is the steel of 2022. But as you can probably tell from just by looking at them, this thing has a fat motor on the bottom of it, and it basically advances the film for you after you take a shot. I have a quite a nice surprise for you guys. I'm here with Gabe Sachs. How's it going? What's so special about this? Wait, here's the here's what's so special about it. So I go to B&H in New York and uh, Chris is behind the counter in the used department and he's fiddling with this camera and I go, oh my gosh, I've always wanted to know what those cameras were like. I said, okay, now I need the bad news. How much is it? And he goes, well, let me look it up. This is $200. I go, what? So he got his for 200. I got my 555 ELD for 900. These are the cheapest hustle vlogs on the market right now. The best kept secret. Love it. But after this video comes out, <laughs> it's gonna be a different story. All right, so let's get into some compare and contrast between these two bad boys. Of course, you guys are more familiar with the classic 500 body. It's nice, compact, six by six format, very modular, all that stuff. Same thing for this guy. It uses the same ground glass, same back, all that jazz. You could literally interchange parts. It's gonna be no problem. Of course, there's going to be an obvious weight difference between the two. The 500 EL series is actually more reminiscent of the House of Blood camera that went to the moon, the one with the motor strapped to the bottom of it so that the astronauts don't have to touch it and that it could just take pictures willy-nilly and then the 500 series camera was more for you know the regular consumer market and because a hundred percent of my audience is not going to the moon these 500 eel cameras are probably just meant for studio work and i know that is kind of difficult to hear that because most people who are watching youtube videos are not you know looking for studio work they're more for the portable camera in mind that they could use in whatever way they want so the 500 series camera cameras are pretty minimal on the camera body itself. There's nothing on the left side and there's only a big dowel to wind the mirror and the film back on the right side. You can attach a battery power winder and take this part off and replace it right there, but that's it. You actually can't buy the motor that's on the 500 EL camera and smack it onto the bottom. That's not a purchasable accessory. There are design differences on the camera body itself. Like for example, the left side, there is an ISO dial and that doesn't really really do anything unless you have the PME 90 prism finder that has an actual meter inside of it all this stuff this is the PME 45 and it has no electronics in it is literally just a prism so you don't have to look into a waste level viewfinder and it doesn't communicate with it that ISO dial can only communicate with the PME 90 viewfinder and on the right side of the camera there is a dial that actually gives you options for shooting modes and I will place this shooting manual right here on the screen so I don't have to explain it you could just pause it and read it and underneath the hood powering the motor are five double a batteries the old 500 elm cameras actually run off of i think d batteries which kind of sucks but there are adapters out there so that you could just use double a batteries which is clearly more accessible for the rest of us what's up everybody we are back at my friend's place we're going to be doing some portraits on the hustleblock 555 eld i have the 40 millimeter racked on this right now and I have the 80 millimeter on standby. So right here, we're running a single monolight, a single strobe, single umbrella, shoot through umbrella. He's sitting on an apple box against a nice plain old backdrop. And that's the setup, that's it. There's nothing more that we need to do. There could be a couple things that we could add, but we're running pretty simple today. And almost there, three, two, one. Nice, three, two, one. Point right at me. Oh yeah, right there, right there. I love the energy, dude. Hands more in the foreground right here. Three, two, and one. Beautiful. Open it wider. Wider, wider, wider. Oh yeah, I like that. Right, give me a good laugh. Three, two, one, nice. Nice, there you go, bud, there you go. Press like I'm pending, God assure me. I just wanna be free, free. From all the pressure, the system, I just wanna be free. 
yeah, from all the pressure it. and the stress of my life, I just, just wanna, wanna be free. Uh, free. I just wanna be free. free. From all the pressure the and the stress of my life, I just wanna be free. Free. From all the pressure and the stress of my life, I. Got the feel of heebie GB Sitting here thinking about the meaning How much a brand life has become How much it matter things that I've done Break that mold but fit the right one Flip that script but stick the right one Low hang fruit just pick the right one What you gonna do? Bite or run? Uh, what's the take And that's all there is to the camera Pretty simple to understand There are three variants of this There is the 555 ELD The one that I own There's a 500 ELM Which is the one that Gabe owns And then right in between Is the 553 ELX But it truly is baffling That not many people know about this camera and it's significantly cheaper to get into the Hasselblad system through the EL series so I you know do you want to hop on eBay and get one right now but of course it comes down to the question of is that motor and that extra weight going to deter you from wanting to own this camera in the first place like for me it doesn't matter because I own the RZ I own a lot of heavy cameras because I personally enjoy that weight but if you just want that nice portable package that can fit into a shoulder bag it's it's kind of hard to beat the classic 500 body alone because that motor is very very hard to pack in a bag so i don't know if you guys ever watched this netflix documentary about a photographer named platon but he actually uses that camera for most of his work and he's world famous for photographing some of the biggest world leaders out there his portraiture work may not interest you but i feel like his whole methodology and his intention with photographing people is probably one of the most simplest but very inspirational for me and if you go and watch that documentary you can actually see the purpose of having a motor in that way that he takes photos of people because he doesn't want to take his eyes off of them while he's looking into the camera. Now, obviously, I'm not going to be photographing any world leaders in my career or in my lifetime, but I could see why it would be a problem if you're focusing and then you got to wind, take another photo, wind. That's it kind of breaks the whole connection that Platon establishes when he's communicating and photographing these world leaders because believe it or not in every portrait session whether it's with your friends or family or a paid shoot or whatever it is a collaboration between the photographer and the subject or group of people in front of the camera and when that connection is being broken up by either you reviewing your images on your digital camera or you fiddling with your gear and not knowing how it works it kind of does disrupt the flow of creating great images and bringing out the true personality of the subject and of course you are free to disagree with that that is just my opinion and i see the benefit of having a motor in the 500 el series cameras that kind of keeps keeps the flow going and that's all i have for you guys in today's video make sure you like subscribe and comment down below on what you think about this camera i have a nice old camera view coming in hot in maybe next week or two weeks from now it's gonna be really exciting so i'll see you then peace